Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle for 8 Sleep Boxing Repeat. The fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place this Friday, the 7th of August, as part of Fight Camp Episode 2. It's uh, one of the co-main events. It is for the Commonwealth Cruiserweight title, and it is between Chris Billum Smith, who is 10 and 1, and he takes on Nathan Thorley, who is 14 and 0. Great fight guys, I'm delighted to be back speaking to you again this week. Um, really enjoyed episode 1 of Fight Camp there, some great fights on there. Um, but this fight I want to talk to you guys about just now, uh, as I say it's the co-main event on Friday and I think it's going to be a, a pretty good fight because it's a good um, mix up of styles. Um, if I can give you a quick just a quick background into both guys. I'll give you the prediction at the end of the video as always. Um, I'd like to start off with Nathan Thorley. Nathan Thorley is quite a, a big, tall and neat boxer. Um, if I was to give you guys my analysis of watching a little bit of Nathan Thorley, he seems to still have that amateur pedigree behind him. Um, what you'll notice is that when some of these boys go to top international level, um, and the amateurs, a little bit of confidence will come over them and one of the hands will start dropping a little bit and it'll move around in like a sniper motion while you're waiting for a jab. He seems very comfortable doing that. I can I could read right away that he was a decent amateur and when I'm back and read up on him, that's exactly what he was. He was, he was a good amateur. Um, he's got a very effective jab. I watched, I think it was his fourth fight or his fifth fight um, with, I think the guy's surname was Doobie. Um, I watched that again this morning and I also watched the second last fight, um, it was a journeyman, I think it was Truas, I'm really sorry I can't pronounce the guy's name, um, which was a comfortable 60-54 points win for him. Um, what I noticed in those fights is there is a bit of raw talent there with Nathan Thorley, but what I would like to see him doing is sitting down a little bit more on the shots. I think sometimes when I'm watching him, very good boxer. Um, moves in and out of the angles very well um, as I say I think his jab's his best weapon when he uses it very very educated jab but when you're coming up against someone like Chris Billum Smith I think he just needs to take it to, to the next level um, to, to progress on in his career talking to the man himself we have a quick chat about Chris Billum Smith Chris Billum Smith says he's 10 and 1 bit of a puncher Chris Billum Smith um, he stopped 9 out of his 10 opponents now Chris Billum Smith is a big, tall, physical boy as well. Um, it goes down well to the body. Chris Billum Smith, when he fought Craig Glover and Richard Riakpour, Richard Riakpour was really unlucky not to get the decision, but guys, I'm not going to say he deserved it because I think there was nothing in that fight. I think if Riakpour won, if Chris Billum Smith won, I don't really think you could argue either way. It was one of those fights where it was very nip and tuck. Um, but with Chris Glover, he looked to me like a lad who has learned. You get these hard fights, I'll remember, I'll give you guys an example, Ricky Burns from Scotland, Ricky Burns fought Alex Arthur early on in his career and Alex Arthur outpointed him quite handily but I think Ricky Burns come on so much better for that, for that fight and I think it really set him up to do well in his career and I'm wondering if that's maybe what's going to happen with Chris Billum Smith um, after the Richard Riakpour fight. He is 30 now, I want to see Chris Billum Smith move a little bit quicker in his career, but his last two fights, I can't fault him for the opposition. Richard React poured Craig Glover. Craig Glover, I know a lot of people thought that that was a 50-50 a fight. Craig Glover was a bit of a puncher. Um, Chris Billum Smith took him out in five rounds. It was an entertaining fight, and with Chris Billum Smith, what I would also like to mention about him is I think his timing is underrated. He times a shot very, very well. Um, if he can read his opponent and know what he's going to do, it does time a shot very, very well. We noticed that at times when he was outboxing Richard Riakpour and the shot that finished um, Craig Glover was, was a beautiful, beautiful shot. Moving on to guys' strengths. As I say, with Nathan Thorley, I think if he's going to win this fight, he needs to jab. I think he needs to box on the back foot, but use the angles. When he jabs, don't go back in straight lines. Jab, spin off and move. If he does that, he could maybe take Chris Billum Smith into the later stages of the fight, maybe frustrate him, tire him out. But he's got to use that jab and I also think that he's got to keep his hands very, very tight in the fight as well. Nice tight guard when he's when he's taking punches, but don't take too many. But moving his head and as I say, move off into the angles. Chris Billum Smith, 
Strengths with Chris Billum Smith is I think he also has a very good jab and I think the times are shot very well. Chris Billum Smith, his main strength for me is the way that he comes down in the body. I don't think that that's paid enough attention to. He seems to jab his way in and he likes to come down and tickle the ribs and try and force a stoppage that way. And I think if he does that on Friday, I think it could be a very, very good tactic for him to win the fight. But guys, over and on to prediction time, that's what we're here for. That's what I'm going to deliver. Good fight, but I just think Chris Billum Smith has learned too much at this stage for Nathan Thorley. The better the opposition you fight, the better you're going to perform going forward. Um, Richard React Port and Craig Glover, back to back fights. Nathan Thorley hasn't fought at that level yet, and I think that will tell him Friday. Fair and respect to him for taking the fight, I think it'll be a good fight. Guys, my prediction for Friday, um, the 7th of August, Fight Camp Episode 2, co main event, is for Chris Billum Smith to stop Nathan Thorley. Guys, my name's Greg Doyle, eat, sleep, box, and repeat. I'll come and speak to you guys again soon. Thank you.